All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Monday. That means we are playing with our Magician Girls. So uh, the first duel, the first video of this deck went fairly well, fairly well. Uh, I got some of your guys' tips, suggestions, and all of that. Uh, for one thing, uh, and I just want to clear this up because I got a ton of suggestions. Oh, we wrote, run Demark. Oh, run Dark Mission. I'm making this an only female deck because I want to, you know? So there's only ladies in here. This is a, this is all, for all the single ladies. We don't need no Dark Magician man up in here, all right? This is just the ladies. And uh, with that, this is only when a spellcaster type monster declares an attack. Yeah, only when a spellcaster type monster declares an attack. The thing about being best just to take it slow, you know? Just set this, set this, set, you know, a good majority of all this stuff. I drew the eye to Tamias, so I can possibly bust out my, uh, my Dark Magician, Dark Magician girl, and then, you know, upgrade her, so that's pretty good. Uh, I just, I don't know, I don't know how to put restrictions on myself, because if I, if I do too much of something, then it'll turn into that deck, you know? If there's too much Dark Magician in here, then it'll turn into a Dark Magician deck, I don't want that, you know? I want it to be a Dark Magician girl deck. I'm just gonna go ahead and poke me for 17, I'm gonna go ahead and take that. So, can she, like, redeclare? That's, that's the kind of thing I'm, I'm kind of wondering if I activate this, because I think that the field is chained. So because the field is chained, I get to select something else, I think. But then each turn that this card be destroyed by a card effect, it is not. Just wanted to inform you guys that it's not. Because <laughs> these Abyss actors are ridiculously good. They really are. Oh, yeah, I got Kiwi. Interesting. Interesting. I think I might just pitching her. Like, I really don't need her right now. Or I could, you know, tag out into her. Yeah. New first turn, blah blah blah, pitch, turn, blah 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 blah. Yeah, I can go Choco and then I can Magical Dimension and pop his sassy, but then he won't be destroyed. And I can summon Kiwi and then attack and then he'll die. But I think he gets a search and then I can curse Magic Circle for Dark Magician Girl, something along those lines. Like, yeah, I think we still have plenty of plays. It's just. Like, this deck, this deck, I think that this deck, that this actress is really good. Like, not only is it just a pendulum mechanic, so you're already, like, outclassing me, but you're, like, floaty pendulum shit, too. It's just, it's just bad, you know? It's just like, oh shit. Then, of course, you're not destroyed. But then I could just run you over, and then I can activate my Magician Circle. I could summon Dark Magician Girl, but then what does she do, you know? It's like, that's a good question. What does she do for me? I don't think she does much, you know? I think it might be better just to summon, like, a different magician girl. Because like my magician girl, my spell cast can't be destroyed by its card effect, and your opponent cannot target them with card effects. You can't like we're decking or something. If you're attacking me, I could just go into you know charcoal magician girl and you know tag out and do all that shit. Got the twin twist in my hand and hold on to that to my ass. Yeah, I think you're only when you're normal summoned. Choco, you're like the best, aren't you? Can you summon from a graveyard in half? Yeah. Summon the charcoal magician girl. Do you got any spell casters in your deck? You got like an effect veil right you want to summon? Or are you just pure abyss actor? Cause it's mandatory, you have to summon. You have to summon a spellcaster monster with 2,000 attack or less in face of attack position. How many times I've seen that and someone gets fucked up because they have to summon their effect veiler? Okay, I don't know what she does. No! <laughs> I'm sure you take it on damage. Okay, so you just drop my attack by the damage that you took. Okay, and then of course that will get a search. Like, this is so, uh, look at this guy. He's a 1,700 beater, right? That. Can't be destroyed by Battle Card Effect once per turn, and he gets a search, and he's a pendulum, some a uh, pendulum scale. You know, like some ridiculous ass shit. Oh, he floats. He floats. Okay. Well, yep. If he floats, I just don't attack. I mean, it's not like you can really get over my chocolate anyway, because my Coco just summon and have you. So it's not like you're attacking her. Can't destroy a battle by card effects. Right. I can't be sure about card effects and I can't be targeted. I can still be sure about I'm so used to the, like, you can't be sure about battle my card effect combo, not the, you can't be destroyed by card effects and can't be targeted combo, you know. But I guess that's magic specters. Yeah, that's magic specters. So, to say that this is going to be easy duel is not even, not even. <laughs> you know, and I didn't get too much of my one-up cards. Like, outside of, like, this, I didn't get, like, my, uh, like, capsule card or anything like that. So, Pendulum Summon. Pendulum summon a whole bunch of monsters, or are you just gonna pendulum summon like one? Two. Two? Yeah, that's enough to get you can catch this morning. That's plenty.
He still, of course, he still gets his normal summon. So. <clears throat> Alright, so you're gonna increase his, his attack. I'm just gonna run over to my Kiwi girl, so that kinda sucks. If you kill my Kiwi girl, can I, I can just revive my Kiwi girl when you attack my Choco. Like, okay. I said, I, I'm just a little bit too slow. I'm not, I'm not strong enough to fight against this deck. Yeah, I, I think that's one of the biggest gripes. I'm too slow and he got resources me. Easy. Easy. Return, sky attack, especially uh, like an apple. I don't need you. I don't have his two. I don't have a, I don't have a third name. Uh fucking apple. You you were like one of the most useless ones. And I believe like all of his pendulum all of his pendulum scale cert I mean float and shit. Like this card in the field would be destroyed because you didn't learn from your previous times. Where, I don't know control, one on for control is the time. And this card is destroyed by battle. And this card in your on monster zone. Show the card back, you use that one. Alright. So that's monster zone, that's not the pendulum scale. What do you do? Turn, okay, let's build. I know a nice chunk of them, and it's like, oh, this card on a field is destroyed by card effect. So even if I crack you as a pendulum scale, you're still gonna, you know, do shit. So, yay. I could crack his skills, but I'm just kind of wondering, you know, what will happen with that. I think I want to just pitch Apple, because she's just shitty. Like, at least I, Tamias, can potentially do something for me later. We'll just crack your scales, and then hopefully... I don't. I didn't read that these two float, so we should be okay. But the problem is I can't kill any of the, these two, and he could just go into, like, a Castell and spin me away. Like, I'm just out of place. I'm out. I'm outclassed, I'm out-resourced, I'm, I'm little magician girls, and... These fucking big bad fucking abyss whatever's, you know. So, yep, he could just play his script, pop me, and then that, that's the that's obviously game. That's all I had. I'm I'm way, way, way outclassed. <laughs> uh, I think this deck's gonna be really good though. Cause I mean, th just the fact that their pendulum mechanic is really good. Yeah, no wonder Salatari threw this his fucking uh he sent you away for this, like not even not even close, not even close in the comparison, man. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the surrender button. You got it. You got it. There's nothing I could top that to fucking save me. All right, we'll get another duel, and then I'll start talking about what I wanted to talk about this video. Be right back. All right. So you look at the title that uh that uh L.A. Day Trip. So uh, I apologize that there was no uh you know there's no vitamin Y. I don't know. It really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I can go first. I can go second. It's it's, it's fine. You know. Uh, that there was no Vimey Y live stream this past Saturday because I was pretty much gone all day on an LA day trip. So the same group that I go with sell my trips, uh, they decided uh, decide to go on day trip to not really play Yu-Gi-Oh! or go to regionals, but to actually go to this place called Frankenstein's where uh, it's like like a big old nerd convention selling place, you know. Uh, but if anybody wanted to go to the LA regionals, they could. Uh, at first, I was thinking about going, so about taking a cause. But after a while, after playing the deck, and you know, it's just not a competitive deck anymore. It's really not. Like, like, like me trying to take that deck would literally just be a waste of time, you know. So you're just gonna wait, so so you summoned her just to tag her out for no apparent reason. Why don't you just summon the fucking harpist? Like, why would you reveal a card in my, in your hand for me? Now I know that you have her. Like, all right, all right. <laughs> like I I I, I, I don't like that plan. I don't like that play. I didn't see the point. <laughs> you know? So, the bad thing is that I really don't... Okay, and he's just gonna scoop. Okay. Like, you don't even know what I'm playing. Like, maybe you wanna, like, wait a little while, see what I'm playing a little bit? Because, right now, I really didn't have much of anything. Like, I could tell me Barry. Barry can give me search. Fucking Apple's just, like, one of the worst. Maybe Duality is possibly something. You know, I actually ain't doing much. Then, these I might actually have to flip up, because he can go into, uh... Lightning Chidori on my ass. That'd be terrible. Anyway, be right back. Uh, so it was one day trip, you know, drive out to LA, do our things, and then come back. You know, there's no no hotel room, none of that. You know, uh, like I said, I guess this deck still it's wow, wow, wow. Oh, where are all my magician girls? Like this, this ain't shit. This, this is this is nothing. This is poop. Like I, uh, maybe I can set this, but I don't want to just catch this from Twitter. If he wants to twin Twitter, just this one card, fine. You know, I, I feel like. Either I'm gonna set one or I'm gonna set more than two. I'm, I, I don't set two cards anymore because I'm just asking to be Twin Twister. You know, if, if if I set one, then if you wanna go neg and Twin Twister me, fine. You know. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. 
Alright, well, this duel is gonna go fucking nowhere. Like, this, this is gonna be a difficult duel for me. You know? Because the whole point of this deck is to just one up my opponent. You know? Make them pitter or patter out of fucking resources. And, you know, poke with my magician growth. He pretty much counters my deck. Because his monster flow and he has his fucking solemn shit. So, this this is gonna be a bad duel. Like, th th there's no if ands, buts about it. This is going to be a bad duel. You know? So, I mean, I guess I can make him catch this Twin Twister, and then he could just be like, nope, I got my Counter Trap, because they always do. Yeah. Oh, no, it's creation. I thought that was his Counter Trap. You know? See, that's why you don't set it. Like, if you would just set the, the creation, I wouldn't do some just you. There's no point. But then you set the Instant Fusion for no fucking reason, making it two. That way I don't neg with my Twin Twister. Like, all right, all right. You know? Now I'm going to just set two now. That way, if you get Twin Twister, you know? And you might not even turn towards the middle card because which is the biggest threat to you because it's like well you know it didn't do anything when i attacked with beyond just, i kind of need a monster like any monster that's not dark magician girl I can't even summon her like can't do shit with her right now like ugh i get poked out by fucking uh by fucking beyond like all right there we go it's not the best magician girl but at least it's something you know at least it is something so I can tag out, pop his monster, her of course he'll flow. Then I can attack. I might be able to do something. I, I, I think I have a, a, an idea, but like I said, my deck is weak to him, like extremely weak to him. I can tag out for you, blow you up, and of course you will flow, but then I can strike you. I can strike you, yeah, you can catch the on strike. I'm running out of light points though. You can catch the on strike so you don't float. Then I can attack, attack, and then main phase two, because, I mean, attack, because I'm going to summon another Dark Magician girl. Uh, main phase two, I can go into uh, Photon Strike Bouncer. So. Summon Spellcaster. I am going to summon another Dark Magician girl. So not the greatest of decks, but hey, it's not terrible either. Just, I'm trying, I want to one-up you and you float. No, it's difficult to one-up you. Yep, all right, so you don't have any Spellcasters in there. No Effect Veiler. I'm not, I haven't caught anybody just playing Effect Veiler just for the sake of playing Effect Veiler, you know? All right, photon strike bouncer. Even though this only gets monsters on the field, so rip on that. And if he really doesn't do anything, he like starts setting his yang things with like zero defense. I could go into you know Gaia Dragon, Thunder Charger, and poke and do that Pierce. Yeah, but I'm I'm completely out of resources. He deals with the photon strike bouncer, and I'm done. You know. So he can go instant fusion for Norden. Nor in the fact I can negate that, and then he could possibly go into a synchro summon or anything still, you know. What does this do? Like, okay. Summon Beyond, but you can't synchro summon, because he's not a tuner, and he's not a tuner. Like, no, that's fine. I'm gonna wait for a threat. I'm gonna wait for, some, for you to do something that threatens, you know. And if you possibly don't do anything, you, the thing is, you still have your normal summon, so you can just normal summon a tuner monster, you yeah. know. Can't stop that. You know, Norton's such an enabler. Not only is he an institution monster who's a monster summoned from the extra deck for additional plays, but then he summons the monster back and he's still conducting on summon. Like, Norton's still just straight up cancer. Like, fuck him. Fuck Norton so much. Alright, you can go on, like, Scar Ride or your monster or whatever, but if you go into, like... Oh, wait, I'm not sure if you can go into Baxia. I think Baxia... I don't think he's generic. Yeah, you can go into Scar Ride. Just run my ass over. And that that's pretty much all I got. Yeah, that's, that's all I got. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll get another duel. Here. So, like I said, I was thinking about entering the regionals, but I decided not to. We still ended up going to the regionals, but I we, we didn't answer. We went to uh, Frankenstein, which is it's hard to describe. Like I said, I, I describe it as just like a outdoor market for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So what do you do? We trivial one monster below, but once before this card is targeted by attack, I special summon one spellcaster monster from my hand, if I can get it, uh, and then the attack is changed to glad if you do the attack, the monster becomes half its turn back. You know, that's not terrible. Like I said, if I'm gonna set, I don't set. I either set one or set three. So I guess I want both of these sets. So I guess I'll set the Eye to Minus, which I guess is just bait. Like Eye to Minus is really good. Uh, going into the Fusion Dark Magician Girl, what, Knight, whatever, pitching, popping cards. It's nice. Once one, you know, the one-up game is strong, but sometimes it's just this. <laughs> it's just kind of not the greatest card to draw. Oh my God! All right. So, yep. Gear Fortress. Uh, you can go ahead and summon another one from its hand. 
So I'm guessing it would be an ancient gear monster, like ancient gear hybrid or something. I'm kinda wondering what he's going to do. Uh He's gonna summon it anyway, yeah. I thought it was gonna be ancient gear. Wyvern can't touch him, can't touch him at all, cause it's fortress, you know. I'm kinda wondering if he's gonna go into like gear giant or something. Why did he get box? Like, okay. What does box do again? Oh, if it's added from your deck to your hand except by drawing, then you can I thought you summoned from my hand. Oh, I can't I can't activate my fat because of Wyvern. Yep. Yep. God, I'm I'm just getting destroyed in this video. I'm Yeah, I'll go into your gear guy next and I can just Oh, I like the bottom was him. Yeah, bottom was That way you don't get the gold gadget and you don't get the gear guy. Well, yeah, this would be a great time to play as if I had it, but just lost my fucking lemon because fucking uh what's his face? I I I, did, I just got destroyed. Holy shit, I got destroyed. This isn't looking too good. I, I thought I had something, but then, you know, fucking ancient gear is like, no, you can't activate your effects on my It's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Your 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 upcoming potentially top tier well I wouldn't say top tier, I'd probably say like tier two structure deck. I am literally playing fucking a shitty ass machine girl deck, like uh I I I'm just getting destroyed in this video. Like let's, let's just admit it. Like uh, magician girls are just not too hot. Yeah, and, and I'm not drawing my fucking um my fucking trap card that could trick your monster, trick my monster, summon one of my dark spell cast type monsters. I have not seen that card all fucking video. There it is. There it is. Now it's too late. And this card's not affected my card effects anyway, so it doesn't even fucking matter. Not that I could do anything when you summon ancient gear monsters anyway. They're just like, ugh. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much fucked. Like, let's just go ahead and admit it. I'm pretty much fucked in this duel. Like, I'm already taking 2,000 from the Ancient Gear Devil. Maybe I might be able to... If he summons, I can do something. Can't be targeted. Draw my opponent's card effects. Turn into a normal summon. But this doesn't destroy. Like... But I don't think I can respond to his summons. Yeah, because he activates as soon as he summons. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I thought I could potentially activate this. Uh, he's going for Overload Fusion. Uh, he he's not done. So much of that I could play Overload Fusion, but I don't like the idea because generally I didn't. I don't get too many in the graveyard. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I literally have nothing. Like fucking Fortress was like, nah, you're not playing Yu-Gi-Oh. You're not. You're not responding. Like wow, I'm just getting destroyed in this video. <sighs> get another duel. Bear back. Ooh, a complete 180 from freaking the last video with Magician Girls. Last Magician Girl video is actually pretty decent. Pretty good. Then this one, I'm just getting fucking destroyed. Awesome. So, I guess I'll set this. I'll set this. I'll set this. It's it's awesome that I keep. I, I never draw like the right magician girls. Like I'm I'm not getting choke. If I would have got opened up choco, I'm not getting my dualities. I'm not getting my fucking uh my revive my renewal. Like <laughs> just drawing eye to my and shit. Might as well strike you because you're just gonna pop one of my cards anyway, so I might as well get ready for your, your breaker, even though it's fucking breaker, you know? Like, mm 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 mm. Maybe draw a magician girl? No, no, I'm gonna draw a warning. Okay. Uh, I really would love Choco. Choco. Choco would be the best right now. It's in here with fucking Kiwi in my hand. She ain't doing shit. <laughs> so. This place, I mean, they had a plenty of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, plenty of places to sell Yu-Gi-Oh cards, even though they fucking, they weren't, like, if you, if, lots of vendors, they, if you tried to sell them, they were gonna lowball shit out of you, like, the prices were fairly decent, you know, if you're looking for odd things, you might be able to pick up with, you know, some nice things, like, ah, oh, Choco, it's exactly what I wanted, exactly what I wanted, <laughs> I was like, can I get that Choco? <laughs> you know, obviously we're playing against, you know, Dark Magician, because, wow. Wow, I was like, I was like, I'm up to eye, eye to my set three because I really want to see it when I have Dark Condition Girl, and then I draw three eye to my set without even seeing Dark Condition Girl. Like, all right, all right, and I mean, I'm still running Triple Two and Twister, so I, you know, I can pitch the pop, and I said I know I'm going against Dark Conditions. I mean, then Twin Twisters is like one of Dark Conditions' worst enemies, you know. It's like hit the Eternal Soul, hit the Dark Circle, don't let Magician's Rod get the start, you know, just simple shit like that. Yeah. 
set this just to beat, but it's like, wow, like, if I could actually rank up into, I mean, rank up, if I can fuse into high time, and you know, I actually should have held on to my hand, because it have been a potential good card to pitch, but not any Dark Mission Girl. Usually, I would get my Dark Renewal, or Dark Renewal, just trip my monster, treat your monster, summon Dark Mission Girl, you yeah. know? That'd be great, but no. <laughs> Like, I'm playing Mark Magician Girls against Dark Magician, like, you, you know, not to be sexist, but I am just outclassed, you know. I, I only get, you know, a dollar, I mean, 85 cents to the dollar. I, I don't get paid as much as him. Oh, wow, he didn't even reveal anything for his, uh, his, uh, his circle. Like, alright. So I guess I'll just keep poking with Choco Magician Girl. Like, well, I'd potentially be able to win a duel. If you have five cards in your hand, you have nothing to summon. Like, did you really seriously get fucked up so hard because I stopped your rod and your breaker? Eh, maybe. I mean, deck doesn't run too many monsters. I said, I'm saving that Twin Twister. I want him to get that Eternal Soul, you know, try to do that play, and then I'll fuck his shit up and fuck his steez up. But... Uh, I really wasn't inter too interested in Yu-Gi-Oh cards, stuff like that. What I was interested in, I was hoping for when going on the trip, is that there, there would be at least one, some, someone who was selling some common rider shit. You guys know I love me some common rider. You know, like ugh, I don't want to geek out over common rider, but come on, common rider is so awesome. You know, and I actually had one of my friends who went on the trip with me, who was also, you know, probably even bigger fan of common rider than me. You know, because he actually has like a common rider stuff. He had, he really would be on the trip for the trip. He brought a terabyte hard drive, external hard drive, full of common riders, all the common riders, you know, that we had plenty to watch, you know, we sat there and watched a couple episodes of common rider O's, because, you know, O's is a really good common rider, and, uh, so we, we, were, we were walking around, uh, we, we came up to this, this store, this stall, and it was closed, we looked at it, and it had a shit ton of Power Ranger stuff, you know, Super Sentai, and it was like, ah, uh, no Power Ranger shit, uh, wow, I am just not getting any monsters in this duel, like, alright, well, I guess, once again, I guess my magician girl will go ahead and kill, hopefully kill your monster. I mean, I'm only 16, and you can easily set something with bigger booty than that. I can't tell if you're just tired of taking the 16, or... No, okay. So you're just playing Jogging. Okay. I, I kind of want some monsters, kind of want... I really want Dark Renewal. Like, that card is so good, and I'm playing triple of it, and I'm just not seeing it. And then when I... The duel, I see it. I can complain that I don't see it. I finally get it, and it does absolutely fucking look like nothing. Like, alright. Oh, there's Barry. Oh... I could just, yeah, I could just normal summon Barry. Barry will give me a search of a magician girl, you know. And then I could potentially just tag out into it. Or pitch it, you know. Pitch it. I could tag out into Kiwi, but that's not the greatest thing right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Dark Magician Girl, because I could tag out into Dark Magician Girl, then go up with Aya to Mayas, and then start pitching and popping his shit. I guess I'll attack, attack. If you throw up on your turn, I'll say. Then you can destroy a monster on the field. Alright, I can. It's not, it's not mandatory. Kind of wondering if it was mandatory. No, it's not. So, let's go ahead and enter battle. Poke you for 2,000. Then, uh, Magical Dimensions. Tag out the berry for Dark Mission Girl. Pack you for another 2,000. So you only be at 800 left. And, uh, then I can just, to my ass, go into my, uh, super... And by that time, you won't even have the life points to, you know, Solemn Warning Me or Solemn Strike Me, so. That would be pretty nice, so. Go ahead and play this. Tribute this. Like, I, 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 is Dark Magician Girl I'm about to fucking beat Dark Magician? Because <laughs> he did not get anything. I just striked and warning you all the cards that you under normal summon, and you just ended up not being under normal summon shit, like. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and expand. Remember, Dark Magician. Oh wow, so because the Dark Magician or Dark Magician is going to fill in the graveyard, but there's no Dark Magicians on the field. There's only Dark Magician Girl on my field. So you're going to target one of my spellcasters and he gains 1,000? Like, really? Are you really going to do that? Wow, alright, so you're just killing yourself. Good job. Good job, I guess. Like, cool. Oh, so you, just, just so you can summon him. Okay, so you just played that, so you could summon him? Because it's when you activate a spell card, right? Yeah, if you activate a spell card. So I guess he lives. Alright, oh, I forgot he counts as Dark Magician while in the field. Oh, that sucks. I, I kind of forgot that he counted as Dark Magician. 
Uh, you can just catch this bottomless. I was like, I was like, I don't get what you're doing, but then now I, I get what you're doing. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. I fucking. I was like, I was like, why would you do that? Why would you kill yourself? And you're like, oh yeah, I can summon him, and then he can vanish and do all them plays. Like, okay, all right, I got you, I got you, I got you. Ah, oh, there's a, there's renewal. Cool. So I guess I wanted I wanted to go and do my eye to my plays and do all that shit, but you you were like, nope. No. I just say fucking abomination. You. I'm not gonna take the neg with the twin twister to pop only your circle. I want, I want to get a little bit more bang out of my buck, you know. So when you can go ahead, and like I said, I mean really, what's what's a threat in your deck? Dark magic circle, eternal soul. So without eternal soul, you're really not doing too much. Like look, look what you had to do, summon this, you know. Like you you went neg and you yeah, and plays weren't that great, you know. I, I beat dark magician. Awesome, awesome. Uh, I'm done for now. I'm tired of playing this deck. Uh, let me go ahead and finish up the story. So. He was selling a whole bunch of, his, his booth was closed, but he was selling a whole bunch, we could see over his booth, we saw a whole bunch of Power Rangers Super Sentai shit, we're like, oh man, I'll just pop Power and he was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, is that the fucking guy in DJ G gun? And it was like, oh my god, I think it is. So, we were like so excited, we were like, oh my god, we're gonna purchase that, we're totally gonna purchase the fucking, uh, the DJ gun from Coming and Gotten, right? So we leave the booth, we, we're walking around with the guys, and we're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, that booth might be open, and his shit that DJ gun might get sold all right so we just rushed back because we're like if it's open i was like fuck it you know what i'm not really looking for anything else everything else in here is just like eh, i'm not even looking for really Yu-Gi-Oh. so i'm just like i'm just gonna wait this booth because if he potentially has some commoner shit i want some commoner shit we walked to the booth it was open this guy had a sprawling amount of common rider shit like the majority of the booth was super sentai but it was common rider shit multiple drivers multiple it was just, uh, it was common rider fucking fan heaven and me and my friend uh he we were big we were big common rider fans right you know he he fucking brought the fucking common rider double driver because i just wanted to see it you know so he already had some a couple drivers i don't have a driver the only thing that i had is an orange lock seed from gaim because i wanted it because gaim is one of my favorite common riders I bought it from Japan, shipped it over. I was like, I want an orange lock seat. I really can't do anything. I don't have the driver, but I just want it. You know, I've always put it on my keychain. You know, I always carry it on me because Kamen Rider and I love Diamond. Yeah, you know. He happened, the guy who's selling the shit, he happened to have the Kamen Rider driver, a Kamen Rider Gaim driver. Gaim, I just said, is my favorite Kamen Rider. So he had the driver, the deluxe lock seat, his mid-series uh, Kajudo key form, and his Kiwami final form. I was like, I want it all. I, I, I spent more money than I really wanted to. I splurged, I know. Uh, you know, I'm addicted to Kamen Rider. I bought, I bought a driver, so now I have a Kamen Rider gun driver. Yes, you know. Uh, then my friend, he, he, he bought the uh, Forza driver, you know. And we we're just geeking out. We we're just geeking the fuck out, you know. Uh, he had Wizard, he had Drive, he had, he had so many fucking Kamen Rider shit, the guy who was selling it, you know. Uh, he gave me a discount, I didn't have to pay for shipping. Overall, it was just a great buy. It was a great buy for, you know, my favorite Kamen Rider. Uh, so we went to regionals. Uh, and so we just mostly walked around, uh, sold cards, played Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I had one person, one person recognize me, yeah. And it, it wasn't even like I was like really spectating. He just happened to walk up to me and he's like, "Hey, are you are you you a master?" I'm like, "Yeah, I see you." He's like, "Oh my god, I love your content." You know, he's some so starstruck. So one person, of course, Cali Effect was there, and everybody in their mother was looking for him. So yeah, awesome. Got Cali Effect a little bit, um, but. You know, it's awesome that one person recognized me. You know, I mean, it's more than what I would expect. You know, generally when I go to like a originals or something, I at least get one person, at least one person. So, at least I'm doing something right, right? So, shout outs to you. Uh, so, I think we stayed there till about nine o'clock at the regionals. Uh, I, like I said, I didn't enter. I just watched a couple of people play, you know, my Cosmos just for fun. I said, I give up on that deck. I'm not playing that deck uh, competitively. I'll, I'll find something else. Uh, we left out. Uh, the originals at nine. We went and got something to eat. People had to use the bathroom because we were just gonna drive. Like I said, we left out about three thirty in the morning, Saturday morning. Got there about at Frankenstein's about seven thirty to eight, I think. You know? uh, so we left to go home about eleven o'clock at night. Hopped in the car, which is about you know four to four and a half hour drive back got back at about 3 30 in the morning and you know got back on sunday morning that one day trip that one day trip though but it, you know it, it, it was fine it was fun I, I got what i wanted you know uh, i had to see you know a, a fan got to play and talk and see some Yu Gi Oh. uh i got the common rider gun driver and made that in itself with all its, its major forms is awesome you know i don't have jimber though uh, you know i have jimber lemon but hey i mean it's all about his his normal form, of course. Kajito Ki and Kiwami, come on, yeah. Uh, 
And then, uh, and the the cherry on top of the the cake was that we got to see. I, w- I got to see the first reveal of the new Commander, uh, Commander X8. Not sub the first episode, but I got to see. You know, I got to hear the opening theme. I got to see him transform. I got to see him fight with a Commander fan, and we just geeked out over that too. So, you know, you guys know I love Commander almost as much as I love Yu-Gi-Oh. No, I, eh. nah, I'd probably say I like it more than Yu-Gi-Oh. Because at least you get, at least Commander doesn't fucking piss me off all the time. <laughs> Uh, but this isn't a camera right channel, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh channel, and you guys didn't come here to hear that shit, but yeah, it was a fun experience, that, that LA one the day trip, it was worth it, it was worth it, it was fun, it was fun. So, uh, there happens to be a Yu-Gi-Oh Regionals in Vegas coming up, I believe this weekend or next weekend, I want to say. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to enter, because I don't have anything, you know, competitive to play, but I'm, uh, there's a good chance that I'll go, you know, so if you guys are going to that Regionals, then, you know, look out for me, uh, say hi. <laughs> And uh, there happens to be yet another regionals in Utah in November. I will probably go. <laughs> you know, I'll probably go. Probably take a more competitive deck and try to get because it's just easy to get your invite at, re- at Utah because there's less people. It's like 200 people. While at LA regionals, there's like 600 plus. You know, I, nah. So yeah. Anyway, my, my story's done. Uh, I tried. Magician girls are just a little slow, a little weak. I wasn't getting the, the draws I needed. I didn't see the quality like at all in this, all these duels. Like, come on, you know. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. We'll be back tomorrow. We're going to be playing... What the fuck are we playing? We're playing Heretics. We're playing Heretics. That's right. Yeah. I, I got to get used to the, the lineup. So thanks for watching. Thanks for support. See you guys next time.